hello guys welcome back to another video in this react series in this video we are going to build a date picker along with a custom date range picker in react using react date picker library as you can see here i have selected the dates from 7 to 28 similarly user will have option to select the date range by clicking on from and to date range this is one of the most useful feature of the date picker in real time examples or real time applications so let's see how we can achieve this one in our react application for that one let me open the code editor first here i have a dedicated component by name react date picker custom range dot js and i have imported that one in our main component file that is app dot js so let's go back to our component and here the first thing which you need to do is import the necessary packages so here I will import react and we need use state to maintain the states in our application. Then I will add use effect as we are going to use that one as well in our application. So we will import this one from react library. As we are working on date picker, we'll import the date picker as well from react date picker library. And don't forget to import the CSS styles. You can use this statement to import the CSS styles into our component. Once that is done, the next step is define the component. Here I have created the component by name React Date Picker Custom Range. This is the same name which we have added to our file name. Within this functional component, we are going to write the logic for date picker and showing that one in our application. So once that logic is done, we need to export this one. Then only this app.js file can find this functional component. For that one, you can use export default and then mention the component name. Now we have the basic structure and the necessary imports which are required to build our logic. So inside this component, let's start adding our logic. So within this component, I will define the first state by name date range, and we have a function by name set date range, which will help us to manage the state of this date range. And initially, we have set the state value to null here. And the next state which we are going to define here is start date, start date, and end date. Here we are initializing the start date with the current date and the end date with null. So these two states will help us to store the start date and end date which is chosen by the user. And the next step is we need to define a function to handle the date change. For that one, I have defined a function by name onChange. So this function will be called whenever the user selects a new date or date range from the date picker which we provide in our application. So whenever user selects a new date, it updates the start date and end date by using the functions set start date and set end date here. Once we are done with handling the function, the next thing which we need to add is add the use effect hook. So this use effect hook will help us to update the date range which is selected by the user. As we have defined the start date and end date as the second parameter to this use effect hook, it will be updating the code within this use effect hook whenever start date or end date changes within this use effect hook let me add the logic now now we have defined the logic the first condition which we have set is this effect function checks both start and end date it will check whether those two dates are defined or not if those are defined it sets the date range which we have set earlier to null by using this set date range method then if only start date is defined and the end date is not defined, it sets the date range to a string indicating only the start date which is selected by the user. And if neither start or end date is defined, it will go to else statement where the date range will be set to null using the same method that is set date range method. So this logic ensures that the displayed date range is always up to date. Once we are done with our main logic here, the next step is to define JSX element. For that one, let me add one return statement. And within this return statement, we are going to add one div, which will consist all the JSX element, which we need for our application. 
within this div element we are going to add our date picker component for that one you can use date picker you can add open and close brackets within this date picker component we are going to define the props now which will help us to make the normal date picker component to provide the feature like range selection to the user the first prop which i want to add here is selected is equals to start date so this sets currently selected date to the start date state which we have defined earlier the next prop which i want to add here is on change equals to on change this prop defines the function which need to be called whenever there is a date change as we have defined on change function that will be called whenever there is a change in the date the next props which i want to add is start date is equals to start date and end date is equals to end date so these two props will help us to store the start and end date in our states which we have defined earlier in our component and the next prop which i want to add is selects range this will enables the date picker to allow selecting a date range instead of a single date and the final prop which i want to add here is inline so this renders the date picker inline which means it will directly display it within the page rather than opening in a pop up so this date picker will be visible to the user always whenever they come to this applications component so that's about the date picker component the next thing which i want to add is i want to add a paragraph which will display the selection which is selected by the user using our date picker for that one you can create a paragraph here and within that paragraph you can add the date range this is a state in which our start and end date is being displayed or stored whichever is selected by the user and this state is updated based on the logic which we have defined in our use effect hook that's it now we successfully built our logic for our date picker so let me save this application so that react auto compiles here now if we go to browser now you can see we got our date picker along with the message which is being shown in the paragraph now if i select the date range by clicking on the start date and end date you can observe the date range from start date to end date is being highlighted and the selection is being shown at the bottom so this is one of the useful feature which you can build in your react applications that's it guys for this video thanks for watching this if you have any questions or want to see more tutorials like this please let me know in the comments below don't forget to like share and subscribe for more coding tutorials like this